the faster these particles move, the more dangerous they are. Because faster means just more energy. We could see Aurora in, uh, in Ladakh, in Hanle. There's a, there's a telescope there. So people there have reported that you could see uh, Aurora in, in Hanle also. Anything that happens on the sun and that is very strong, then it affects the atmosphere, ionosphere of the earth, and it affects our technological life. If there is a direct uh, uh, solar uh, coronal mass ejection towards the earth, then obviously we have to a little bit worry. Solar flares, this, this is very common. It happens all the time. It just so happens that the sun is in its, it's getting to the peak of its activity. It's its 11 year cycle. Every 11 years, the activity of the sun goes from uh, from high to low, and in 2025, it is going to peak. So, uh, the, so the, the chances of more solar flares coming out in this time is more, but it's not uh, it's not it's not a very uncommon thing. Now, the the, the reason why this is coming to uh, in, into the news is that this this flare, which 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 came out of the very active solar spot region on the sun. Uh, I think 3664, I don't know, I have to check that number. So from that, that is a very uh, very active region of the sun surface. And this solar flare that came out, it is ejected from the sun surface. Matlab, it is coming out, oh, sun is, from the surface of the sun, it is thrown out. Highly charged particles of, of plasma. And these charged particles can travel at very high velocities. Anything it can take from few hours to few days to reach Earth. It can be that fast also. So uh, the, the faster these particles move, the more dangerous they are. Because faster means just more energy. Now what happens when it comes to the Earth? Earth has a magnetic field. Earth has a, an atmosphere, right? So since, the, the, since these are charged particles coming from the sun, they can be deflected by the magnetic field. And because they're deflected by the magnetic field, most of these charged particles go around the Earth. But some of them can come to the polar regions of the Earth. And they, in that they interact with the, with, the, with the gas molecules on the upper atmosphere and they produce plasma. And that is why you see a color. It's called aurora. Aurora borealis in the northern hemisphere and aurora australis in the southern hemisphere. Now the thing is that solar flares are never very strong. And these, these uh, aurora that is caused by the flares can be seen on, on, only in the, in the polar and arctic regions. What's up? Northern Europe and in the bottom in the Antarctic area. But when there's a very strong um, solar flare like the one which happened yesterday, it's supposed to be a class 4, means it's very high. Now this is, and unfortunately Earth also is in the path of the, of the solar uh, charged particles coming from the sun. Now this combined with our magnetic field and our atmosphere produces the aurora. And uh, people are very fortunate to even see this right up to northern Italy, which is which is very down in the, the latitude. Usually you see it only above Norway and Iceland and all those ways. But now we could see it all the way to, to Italy. And uh, I also read in the news that we could see Aurora in, uh, in Ladakh, in Hanle. There's, there's a telescope there. So people there have reported that you could see uh, Aurora in, in Hanle also. Now talking about how does it affect us. For a common person, it does not affect because flares come and go. Uh, auroras come and go, uh, it never affects us any health-wise or environment-wise directly. But what it can affect is our 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 day-to-day -day life, that is communication. We have so many satellites that communicate, that take our signals up and down, that can be disrupted, your, your, your TV, satellite TV signals can be disrupted, your radio communication can be disrupted. So these things are the only side effects of of um, you know solar flare strong uh, uh, emission of x-rays and ultraviolet radiation uh, from the sun the, uh, this is x-ray flare that nasa has spoken about and uh, x-ray flares are associated with uh, large sunspots on the surface of the sun so right now the sun is uh, passing through 
a, uh, its a strong phase of uh, its activity. As we know that uh, sun's activity is, has an 11-year cycle. So right now the sun is passing through the peak of its activity. That's why we are seeing uh, repeatedly many sunspots on the surface of the sun. So sunspots have very strong magnetic fields, and because of that, there is a sudden release sometimes of uh, energy. That energy is in the form of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. So that reaches the Earth, and it causes disturbance in our uh, ionosphere. Because of that, uh, radio blackouts may take place at short uh, wave uh, lengths. Say, uh, one uh, blackout has been noticed uh, lasting about an hour's time at uh, 30 megahertz uh, frequencies. So, uh, but uh, this is uh, a normal thing every uh, peak time of the solar activity. And sun is passing through this uh, since uh, billions of years. So uh, there's nothing to fear about or worry about. But one thing is that uh, now because it's our technological life. So anything that happens on the sun and that is very strong, then it affects the atmosphere, ionosphere of the earth, and it affects our technological life. For example, there are satellites in uh, in orbit around the Earth, they are at the heights of, say, 400 to 700 or 800 kilometers. So uh, they are uh, actually in a very thin ionosphere. So as uh, radiation from the sun comes, it affects the ionosphere, and because of that, uh, the, there is a slight heating up of the atmosphere, and there is an increased drag on the satellites. Right now, uh, its uh, positioning is such that it is uh, somewhat looking away from the Earth. So if there is any coronal mass ejection, uh, it's, it's something like it's going to be something like a grazing incidence only, so we shouldn't worry at all. But if there is a direct uh, uh, solar uh, coronal mass ejection towards the Earth, then obviously we have to a little bit worry because, uh, for example, the, uh, there can be a power outage. So the power grid companies uh, will uh, uh, take uh, due care uh, in that uh, matter.